what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i do have my trade night pickups for the one year anniversary trade night that we had just last week here for the month of august and i'm so excited to share with you what i got here are the singles that i picked up here not a crazy amount of stuff but some real cool stuff in here which i will get into in a little bit but the first thing i want to go over is what's in this blaster box and no it's not just a blaster box of draft pick prism basketball it's actually a bunch of cards donated from my buddy chuff who comes here you know about every week or so once a week and he donated all these cards and he said and i didn't get this on the last video on the last trade night video i don't think but he said he donated another box last month and he said that this box is better than the cards he gave me last time and last time i wasn't disappointed so i haven't gone through these and chuff i'm i'm appreciative of your donation of course so this counts as a trade night pickup and i really want to go over it look at this we already got a moses moody optic collegiate doesn't matter i like college sports i, I know it's it's kind of uh ooh, okay joe borrow we got a pink optic dirk nowitzki's finals mvp we got a brandon boston jr revolution trey man base donruss cade cunningham chronicles another cade cunningham prism mosaic that's nice right there very nice draft pick prism so what beautiful looking card deandre hunter joshua primo Tyrese Halliburton, playbook rookie, Giannis Select, Zion Williamson complete, Draymond Green. Let's see if we can uh, rifle through some of these here. Malik Beasley, Corey Kisper, JJ Redick. Ooh, Red Wave, that's nice. Scotty Barnes, Jordan Poole, everyone's going over going crazy over him. Isaiah Jackson. Chaz McCormick, a little baseball chuff. Didn't expect to see that. Jose Siri, Jake Myers, Derek Henry, Cassius Winston, Aziz Ojulari, Nick Bolton, Alan Lazard. Big season coming up for him, potentially. John Randall, Josh Jacobs, CD Lamb, Daz Newsom. We got some top loaded stuff here. Is this the good stuff? Josh Okogi. Jared Butler, Evan Mobley, numbered Chaz McCormick, numbered 753 to 2022. How do you guys feel about that uh, numbered to whatever year it is? So last year they were doing 2021. This year they're doing 2022. Some people like it because it's like a moment in time. Some people don't because it's too high numbered. Uh, let me know, guys, how you feel about that. I think baseball is the only one that does that too. Jimmy Butler, Silver Optic, Evan Mobley, Rashad Bateman. Bunch of good rookies here. Trey Sermon. Ayo! Kara Lewis Jr., Yellow Reactive. Kobe White. Jaden McDaniel, Silver Mosaic. Arneki Okongwu. It's a tough name, but I, I still think I pronounced it correctly. Another one. Isaiah Stewart, Evan Mobley. Ayo! Jonathan Kaminga. Moses Moody. Moses Moody. Zach Collins. Franz Wagner. Tracy McGrady Jam Masters. How do you guys feel about the big head cards? Like, I know some people like them, some people don't. Um, I guess it just kind of depends on the player. Um, I know people go crazy over the Brady ones, especially the numbered one of these. Some people think they're really freaking cool. Some people kind of like meh on them. Let me know what you guys think of that. Another polarizing card in the hobby. Obi Toppin Selections, Rookie Selections. Eric Peschel, Jimmy Butler, Old School Colors. We have a Rookie... Evan Mobley, rookie numbers. Uh, Jalen Suggs, rookie numbers. Jonathan Isaac, pink optic, not a rookie, but a sexy card. Matisse Teibel, Josh Primo, Josh Primo. I thought it was going to be Josh Primo again, but that's Cameron John, Cameron Thomas, Scotty Barnes, Devin Vassell, Devin Vassell, Scotty Barnes, and Scotty Barnes. Again, thank you, Chuff, for the donation. I'm very excited and obviously appreciative of your donations. Um, it doesn't matter what was in here. It, it's just the fact that you, you took the time to put some cards together. Uh, you know, I don't know how many cards are in here. 
50 to 70 cards maybe and just simply donate them to your local card shop aka Merv's Card Town. So thank you so much for your kind donation there. I greatly appreciate it. And it's something that I don't expect, nor it's something you have to do, but you do it out of the kindness of your heart. And that is, it makes it all the sweeter. But let's get into the pickups that I actually did acquire. Uh, here's a Peyton Pritchard, 21 out of 25, hot signatures rookie. Now, if this card looks familiar, I did do a box break, a uh, basketball break. It was a mixed break. There was... Uh, NBA hoops hobby, there was optic retail, some blasters too, I believe. It was a bunch of different stuff, and this was one of the hits from it. I was able to reacquire it and trade. So good to see that card come full circle. We have a Lamello Ball base optic. Nothing fancy about it, just a nice optic right there. We have an Anthony Edwards Mojo Refractor from Flux. Some people are indifferent about Flux. Another fire department really going to be blaring their horn going by. Some people are indifferent about Flux, but I mean, it's still a cool looking card. It's different. I know the gold out of 10s are very crispy, but let me know how you guys feel about Flux as well. I feel like I'm getting a lot of polarizing cards in this pickup video. Michael Jordan Skybox from 91, I believe. Yep, 1991. So a cool little throwback MJ card there. Not vintage, of course, but it's still a nice card nonetheless. Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, was it Unleashed TGA9? If I can get the grade in the shot, let's tilt the camera back a little bit. It, eh, it's better right there. Very, I mean, I think the bear in the background is killer. Killer, killer, killer. Very nice card there. I like Panini's baseball products. I know some people don't because it's unlicensed, but you know what? When you're getting cool looking cards like this, I don't know, it's tough to say no. It is tough to say no. You got a TGA95, Trevor Lawrence is the older label. So here are the two different labels. Here's the newer label with the name right here, and then it says TGA kind of off to the side. The older label has TGA kind of right here in the front, and the name is more centered. I like them both. I like the newer ones actually a little bit better. And then obviously the next TGA submission video that I post out will have the new team color match labels and the flow labels included on them as well. So I can't wait for that. But here's a Trevor Lawrence draft pick prism, green prism. Uh, yes, it's collegiate, but again, guys, I like CFB. I think there's value in it. So I'm excited to pick this up nonetheless. Plus it's a TGA 9.5. I mean, that's more likely a 10 anywhere else. Here's a Leon from 2020 Vivid Voltage. This is a TGA 9.5. Uh, another great thing about TGA is their color labels. This is the black label. But it's not like the standard like sports black label. It's like a graphite black. If I can kind of compare and contrast. It's like a graphite. It looks very nice. This is a 9.5 of Leon. What is it? Uh, rainbow? Let's see. What is his effect? During the, this turn, your Pokemon's attack do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. Interesting. Mrs. Murph and I are, we do play Pokemon Battle, you know, about once a week or so, and it's very fun. And through playing that, I've been able to kind of pick up the little ins and outs of the actual, you know, collecting aspect of Pokemon, which is very, very exciting. Uh, let's see, what else we have? We have a Jordan Pool. 2019-20 Mosaic Prism, SGC 9.5. Clean card, obviously a champion. He's been kind of rumored in some Warriors trades, whether it's for Durant or somebody else. So this card is definitely nice. People are definitely high on Jordan Poole moving forward. All right, we got ourselves a 2013 Tom Brady Select SGC 9. Uh, again, can't go wrong with Brady around here. People love Brady and Mac Jones, which I do have a Mac Jones pickup that I'll get into in just a quick second. Card number one. Very nice right here. Definitely love to throw this in the case. Just add to the pool of Brady's that I have. And speaking of Mac Jones, I got this one off of Backcountry Cards. This 2021 XR Teal out of, where is it right here? We get 16 out of 49. And the cool thing about it is in the background, it says like RC, RC, RC all across, which I think is really cool. It just adds another layer of depth to the card itself. Very nice. 
Beautiful looking card. Numbered Mac Jones. Obviously, again, local quarterback, rookie quarterback last year. His value can go up. And I'm very excited to have a number, low number too, out of 49 of Mac Jones here at the shop. Then we have ourselves. I love this card. Trevor Lawrence, thumbprint auto out of 25, 23 of 25. Uh, wild card, don't care. College, don't care. This card is nasty. This card is absolutely sick. Nice on-card auto right there in gold Sharpie with the thumbprint at, right there as well. And then 23 of 25 there. I'll probably flip the card in the top loader just so you can see the 23 of 25 more. Uh, I don't know, but the card number right there is facing that way. I don't know, I'll figure it out. It's a good looking card either way. I mean, I I can't persuade people to, to like college football products, but I mean, this card does is not gonna break your bank and still Trevor Lawrence Auto. First overall pick in the draft last year. I mean, it's obviously you can do better than this, but it's very hard on a budget if you are on one to do better than something like this. I mean, you get an out of 25 auto with Trevor Lawrence. You're paying more than double the price of this card that it's going for. So glad to have that here at the shop. And then possibly one of my biggest pickups to date, depending, depending on your point of view. A little piece of lint there. A Justin Jefferson one of one autograph SGC 9.5 auto 10 extremely beautiful card uh, I'm just gonna read the whole SGC label 2020 P Panini Chronicles number 317 Justin Jefferson prestige autographed extra points platinum one of one beautiful looking card beautiful looking card guys you can see the one of one right there the autographs right there he's in his nfl jersey which makes it even a little bit sweeter because i know prestige when they first come out a lot of those rookies are in their college jersey so having jefferson in the nfl jersey does make it a little better but murph you were just saying you love college football and yes i do i do but having jefferson in the nfl jersey just helps the value of the card go up and it helps make this card easier to move down the road because I love the college football stuff. I know some people do, but most people don't. And when they're looking at this card in comparison to this card, or even something like this, they're grabbing this one last, even though it's a uh, rookie quarterback auto, number one overall on card, thumbprint out of 25. That's just kind of the name of the game sometimes, but it's cool to see the NFL jersey here, one of one auto, JJ. Pretty sick card all the way around. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this month's trade night pickups. Uh, again, didn't pick up a crazy amount of stuff as compared to what you may be used to. Bunch of shows coming up. Did a bunch of shows in the past. Obviously, I have a submission coming back from TJ with a bunch of cards. I'll be sending one out uh, fairly soon. Actually, by the time this video comes out, it'll already be out. So a ton of different new inventory will be in and out at the shop. So definitely come on by Murph's Cartown Sports Shop to check out the latest for singles, graded, you know, patches, autos, wax, anything and everything to stay up to date with what's in shop. But thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you did enjoy it, please make sure you smash the thumbs up button as I would greatly appreciate the love and support. Please leave all questions, comments, concerns down below in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel if you're new or haven't considered subscribing as I would greatly appreciate the love and support. I've queued up a nice video right here for you guys that I strongly believe is going to be excellent for your sports card endeavors. Hopefully, I'll see you in that one.